A recent Wall Street Journal article has stated that quote unquote NFT sales are flatlining and this seems to be supported by Google Trends which also shows the search terms and related search terms sort of tapering down compared to late last year. However, this might not actually paint the most accurate picture of what the NFT market is like right now, especially since many other prominent data collectors are actually questioning the data collected by the source that Wall Street Journal was using. And so in today's video, we're not only going to examine the other side of the story and also the accuracy of these articles, but also what you can potentially do to invest or perhaps make some money in the NFT space moving forward. So the first major claim made by this viral Wall Street Journal article is that the number of active wallets in the NFT market fell about 88% to around 14,000 last week from a high of 119,000 in November of 2021. However, this piece of data that was collected by nonfungible.com has since seen quite a bit of scrutiny, especially since this data was actually only based on the Ethereum blockchain, which to be fair, NFTs had traditionally been mostly minted on that blockchain, but has since sort of branched out into other types of blockchains such as Flow, Solana, and Palm. And for example, in March 2022, which wasn't too long ago, right? The NBA Top Shot website or the NBA Top Shot NFT marketplace, uh, which is based on the Flow block blockchain, actually saw 38,000 unique buyers and actually over a million transactions in that month alone. And not only that, but according to another prominent NFT and crypto data collector, Dune Analytics, the number of wallets that are involved in NFT trading or buying and selling, namely unique buyers of NFTs, has actually not even dropped nearly as much as the 88% claimed by non-fungible, but rather was closer to about 10 to 20%. Well, first of all, we actually take a look at non-fungible themselves is reply to allow the scrutiny they actually said that their data is quote unquote conservative and that they constantly are adding new projects and blockchains in a live manner and this is on top of them only focusing on the ethereum blockchain while a lot of nft projects are in fact based on especially more recently in the last few months um, other blockchains and secondly non-fungible themselves actually come off as a lot more optimistic and bullish on the nft market than the wall street journal article which of course user data made them out to be stating that in the same thread on twitter that they released their nft market report that First of all, although the number of active wallets is also decreasing, the number of buyers is still higher than the number of sellers, which means that we can assume this means that the interest in buying NFTs is still present. Next, they also said that with nearly $8 billion traded in the first quarter of 2022, the market cannot really be considered to have collapsed. We are observing a stabilization of the NFT market in line with the last quarter of 2021. And finally, they said, yes, the asset, USD and active wallet volume decreased compared to the quarter four or quarter, fourth quarter of 2021. But compared to quarter one 2021, volume is still very encouraging. And to further support the notion that the NFT market is actually doing quite well, Yahoo Finance, which is another very prominent media outlet, actually reported that non-fungible didn't include the other deeds NFT sale by Yuga Labs, which again is the creator of the uh, Borde Yacht Club, right? As of Thursday morning, which would have added an additional $300 million into the mix of NFT sales volume. To which non-fungible.com actually commented that they will later on reflect the data from the other side NFT moving forward. And in in addition to that, this Yahoo Finance article also cites different sources of market data from the likes of NFT ranking platform DabRadar, as well as blockchain analysis platforms Nansen and Dune Analytics, which I mentioned earlier, and also a new report from Chain Analysis, which actually suggests that NFT activity is not really decreasing, but has actually stabilized in 2022, and transaction volume is actually still growing. And so one of the major takeaways here and what could possibly explain the lower trading volume as explained by non-fungible it's that there seems to be according to a lot of these different data sources a lot of consolidation into uh, a few projects as opposed to buyers speculating on a lot of different projects so for example recently we had of course the moon birds collection of nfts which actually pulled in over 500 million dollars in sales volume and also the aforementioned other deeds which came from the board eight Yacht Club uh, founders and creators, which also pulled in more than $700 million, both of which obviously caused huge spikes in um, trading volume. And as I just explained, much of this data and thus sales volume was actually not factored into Non-Fungible's latest report. 
And so if this is actually the case where NFTs are not only far from being dead, but also smart money especially is consolidating a lot of their investments into some of the more prominent projects from well-known brands like Yuga Labs or even more significantly some of the major retail brands like Nike or even franchises like NBA and so on and so forth with their own NFTs. What are some of the metrics and methods that we can take a look at moving forward to invest more smartly or even make some money from NFTs and especially pick out some of the more quality and even utility projects. So with that, here are three useful metrics using the aforementioned tools to actually find them to help you determine whether or not an NFT project is actually succeeding. And the first of these is the number of unique holders of a given NFT project, which can be found out using the Dune Analytics tool that I mentioned earlier, which by the way, this metric is used to determine the size and how big the community is surrounding a given project. So the larger the community, the more support, which obviously helps sell the project to a larger pool of potential buyers. And second, we have volume traded, which can be tracked using OpenSea's rankings page, which provides insight into the popularity of a given NFT collection, which means the higher the volume, the better the indication that people are willing to buy and sell a given project. And the volume also is used to assess whether an NFT project is in demand at the given moment. And last but not least, using rarity.tools, we can actually assess the rarity, so to speak, of a given NFT. And this is individual NFT as opposed to the entire collection, which means that the higher the rarity score, the more rare the actual traits of that individual NFT are relative to the rest of its same collection. And sort of an advanced version of this is that you can take the rarity score and divide it by the price of that single NFT to sort of gauge the relative price or how expensive that NFT is relative to how rare the traits are, right? So um, if you take rarity divided by price, the higher the ratio is, so after you divide it, the higher the number is, generally speaking, compared to the rest of the NFTs within the same collection, the cheaper it is relative to the price of the rest of the stuff in the collection, right? And next up, if you don't necessarily want to spend any money investing in NFTs right now, especially given how a lot of investable assets are sort of down in prices lately due to certain macroeconomic conditions and I actually spoke about some of these conditions in one of my previous videos that I'll link below but anyhow if you want to get some NFTs without having to invest any money in essence collecting free NFTs just by spending a little bit of your time instead of money and these are opportunities I've personally tried out as well and have gotten some of these rewards whether it be NFTs or sometimes crypto um, that could be dropped into my wallet for example so the first of these uh, opportunities is is Decentraland, where if you don't know yet, um, it's sort of a metaverse, so to speak, where anybody can log in for free and play some of the experiences. There are also games within the central land where you can sort of earn NFTs and whatnot, but this uh, specific tutorial right here is not necessarily for that, although you, you know you could do that. But what I want to introduce to you is actually a website called events.decentraland.org, where you can actually keep track of the latest events that are happening in the Decentraland Metaverse. And what you also want to do is um, you don't have to use the search bar here or you can scroll through all the events. But what I like to do is to type in stuff like or keywords like free or giveaway um, and you'll be able to target those keywords and thus events that have these sort of giveaways, right? Um, a lot of times, and this might be a bit more rare um, as of you know, right now, but if I just type in free, for example, I should be able to find some opportunities for NFT giveaways. like. This one right here called Future Music, and this is actually happening tomorrow. So if I open up the event here, it says that if you just join, um, let's see, if you attend a show on the Central Land on either Tuesday or Thursday this week, you will actually receive a um, exclusive token to the music NFT. This is kind of unique as well. It's not really a uh, art or a visual arts picture you know nft or an avatar item within the central land where you can equip it onto your character that's sort of the most common type of nft you'll get uh dropped to you on the central land but this is a music nft and um, when you receive the nft you can actually have exclusive rights to use that music within any content that you produce as well so it's kind of a nice perk uh, so all you have to do is join this right if you actually have some extra time just log into the 
um, event. Uh, look for the event in the central hub when you first log into the central land, and you can just teleport right to the place. You can easily multitask and do whatever else, and just like park your character there and just collect your stuff, right? I've done similar types of events before. Um, so that's one example, and you can oftentimes find like other giveaways, especially when there's like a large uh, branded event. So uh, this doesn't seem to be happening as much right now, but not too long ago on the Central Land, there was a large sort of fashion show where many large and renowned uh, fashion bands um, actually advertise on the Central Land. They're sort of NFTs and other physical products that have NFT representation. But anyhow, with those types of events as a promotion, a lot of these large companies will be doing giveaways, um, mostly for NFTs, right? And also avatar rewards for your Decentraland character. So definitely keep a keen eye out for uh, some of these events, especially the large sort of branded events. And another tip I have for you while we're at it is to, if you want to uh, sort of keep track of those types of larger high profile events instead of just going to the Central Lands event page and scrolling through a lot of the you know different different events of which there are a lot right so you kind of have to look through them you can actually go to a website called nft plazas where this is a lot more streamlined for the most part and um, what i mean is it sort of filters out some of the most uh prominent projects and also upcoming giveaways right for instance not long ago when the batman movie came out the latest batman um it was also announced on this website here nft plazas which is a news website for anything nft and metaverse and crypto um, it was announced that uh, AMC, which is a, an American theater chain, was giving away NFTs for people who purchased the tickets to watch um, Batman. So that's just one example of an NFT giveaway that you can find on NFT plazas. But a lot of times you can also find other uh, events. So if you, for example, click on Metaverse News, you'll be able to find a lot of the uh, Decentraland or even like Crypto Voxels is another Metaverse that is similar to Decentraland. And there's also the Sandbox, which I'll get into shortly. And so with that, the next project and opportunity I want to show you is the Sandbox, where especially when they have the Alpha Seasons come out, for example, um, a couple of months ago, there was the Alpha Season 2, which I did participate in and earn. I played all the events that was hosted uh, during the Alpha, and I actually earned, uh, not only entered into the drawing, or not only was I entered into the drawing for the Alpha 2 Season Pass, which is like NFT and crypto rewards, although I didn't win, the odds were actually pretty good, but I didn't end up winning. But besides that, I actually got a guaranteed reward of, as you can see here on my page, 95 MSAN tokens, which is worth about you know two to three hundred dollars US dollars, give or take, depending on the price of the SAN token right now, right? It could actually fluctuate. It's probably a bit lower, relatively speaking, but it's definitely been higher before or much higher before. So the sandbox, although the metaverse, the future of this particular metaverse, and I've said so in my reviews of it, uh, is a little bit sketchy or iffy. You know, personally, personally, it's what I think, but um, I still think that if you just play the alpha, if that's specifically what you're going to focus on instead of investing in the actual NFTs, right, or spending money on like the sand token, which is the crypto that that's backing this project, uh, instead of spending any money, you can instead spend a little bit of time, play some of the games that come out with the alpha. Uh, you might even have a little bit of fun, although I don't think all the games are that fun. But if you have some time to kill, this can be a great way to earn some free NFTs and or crypto rewards um, and even have a chance of earning a lot of you know valuable NFTs and crypto. And that is pretty much all I wanted to showcase in today's video. Let me know which types of NFT projects you might be the most interested in and also what you think about the trends of the NFTs in general. Do you think it has a future or not? In the comment section down below. Plus, you can check out my YouTube courses. One of them is completely free on my website. The other one is a premium version but it also has two free video lessons that you can check out and both will be linked below and with that thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you in the next video peace